हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम प्रोफेसर धीरज कुमार सिंह फ्रॉम डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग सागर ग्रुप ऑफ इंस्टीट्यूशंस सिस्टे कार भोपाल डियर स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक दैट इज इंट्रॉपी सो लेट्स स्टार्ट द टॉपिक फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल डिस्कस इट्स इंट्रोडक्शन दैट वॉट इज इंट्रॉपी एंड फ्रॉम वेयर इंट्रॉपी हैज कम right so basically we will discuss a little bit of uh, first law of thermodynamics and a little bit of second law of thermodynamics then we will understand that how uh, the journey begins and how that entropy come into action so the first law of thermodynamics was stated in terms of cycles first and it was shown that the cyclic integral of heat is equal to the cyclic integral of work we have seen it earlier and when the first law was applied for thermodynamic processes the existence of a property that is the internal energy was found right for a cyclic uh, uh, for a cycle we have seen summation del q equal to summation del w and for a process we have seen um, uh, del q is equal to du plus del w so for a process the picture of internal energy has come into the existence so similarly the second law was also first stated in terms of cycles executed by systems when applied to processes the second law also leads to the definition of a new property and that new property is known as entropy right so if the first law is said to be the law of internal energy then second law may be stated to be the law of entropy that means from here we can understand first law is our law of internal energy and second law is our law of entropy in fact thermodynamics is basically the study of three e's namely energy equilibrium and entropy right so these three e's are very important topics in thermodynamics first is energy second is equilibrium and third is entropy now we will try to understand the meaning of entropy the physical meaning of entropy entropy is a measure of molecular disorderness right entropy is nothing but the measure of molecular disorderness greater is the entropy and lesser is the efficiency when entropy will be more efficiency of the system will be very less right so what is entropy entropy is nothing but the measure of molecular disorderness means in a system how disorderly molecules are moving in a system so this kind of calculation of the disorderness of the molecules is under the uh, study of entropy right so it comes under the study of entropy so entropy is nothing it is a measure of molecular disorderness so we will try to understand what is the value of entropy for reversible cycle for irreversible cycle and for uh, for adiabatic process what kind of uh, uh, entropy we will be getting so from clausius inequality we have already this equation that cyclic integral of del q by t is less than or equal to 0 less than in the case of irreversible process and equal in the case of reversible process so we have taken here reversible cycle that means we will take the case of reversible process that is cyclic integral uh, of del q by t is equal to 0 in a reversible process right or or we can say in a uh, cyclic integral in a reversible cycle also so here we can see in this diagram in this diagram uh, there are three paths path a path b and path c right so uh, all these uh, all these cycles are reversible cycle for an example when you start your uh, journey from 1 to a then second then b then again one means means 1 a to b 1 will consist one reversible cycle here it is written 1 a to b1 is one reversible cycle and 1 a to c1 is our another reversible cycle so we have taken two reversible cycles into the consideration here right so we want to solve it and then we will see what kind of result we are getting so we have applied this equation 
that is cyclic integral del q by t equal to 0 right so we will apply it in a cy in first cycle that is 1 a 2 b 1 so del q by t 1 a 2 del q by t 1 a 2 plus del q by t 2 b 1 this will complete a cycle and that will be equal to 0 now similarly we can write uh, this equation del q by t for the cycle 1 a 2 c 1 so this will be this will become del q by t 1 a 2 del q by t 1 a 2 plus del q by t 2 c 1 del q by t 2 c 1 again we are reaching on the uh, initial point right so the uh, the addition of these two will also be equal to 0 when we will equate these two equations then this del q by t 1 a 2 in both the uh, equations will get cancelled out then what will be remaining so we will have del q by 2 t b 1 del q by t 2 b 1 minus del q by t 2 c 1 right so we can see here when we will equate these two these two will be equal means del q by t 2 b 1 is equal to del q by t 2 c 1 that means these these b and c only end points are same means there is no difference in del q by t del q by t is same for both the paths for b and c both the paths right and uh, we know that uh, del q by t reversible to b1 is our ds i will uh, explain it later that how it has become ds so from this equation we can understand though path b and c are different the quantity del q by t is independent of the path and it depends only on the end points 1 and 2 so so del q by t reversible must be a property that means it is not depending on path that means it must be a property and this property is known as entropy and entropy is denoted by s so change in entropy here denoted by ds and it is a property that's why we have written it d if it would have been uh, uh, a path function then obviously we know as a heat transfer is a path function so del uh, at the place of d we apply here del sign so heat and work is a path function we know and this this particular term ds is our uh, property and properties are always point functions right so this property is known as entropy that means ds equal to del q by t reversible is our entropy ds so now we want to find the value of entropy in irreversible cycle we know the value of uh, entropy in reversible cycle that is del q by t reversible so in irreversible cycle we have taken a reversible cycle and one one path that is irreversible path or one process that is irreversible process so there are two processes there are two cycles one is 1 a 2 b 1 that is our reversible cycle written here and second cycle is 1 a 2 c 1 that is our irreversible cycle why because one process is irreversible so if in any cycle if uh, one process is irreversible then the whole cycle will be treated as irreversible cycle right so for uh, reversible process we have applied uh, integral cyclic integral del q by t equal to 0 because we know uh, by the help of classes inequality the value of del q by t equal to 0 for reversible uh, uh, cycle so del q by t 1 a 2 del q by t 1 a 2 plus del q by t 2 b 1 equal to 0 and we can write del q by t 1 a 2 equal to minus of or negative sign in the right hand side that will be negative of del q by t 2 b 1 we have uh, taken it as equation number 1 now we will move to the equation of this irreversible cycle that is 1 a 2 c 1 now what we will write some uh, integral del q by t is less than 0 because uh, according to classes inequality we have already seen that uh, uh, cyclic integral of del q by t is less than or equal to 0 less than is for irreversible cycle and uh, equal to 0 is for reversible cycle so we have written here del q by t is less than 0 right so we have applied it uh, in this cycle so del q by t 1 a 2 plus del q by t 2 c 1 so that will be less than 0 here we can see here we can see that will be less than 0 now we can write at the place of del q by t 1 a 2 minus del q 
t 2v1 so we have written it here uh, in the last expression you can see minus del q by t 2v1 plus del q by t 2c1 is less than 0 and that is from equation number 1 we have written now we will take this uh, del q minus del q by t 2v1 in the right hand side then what will uh, we will get then del q by t irreversible 2c1 is less than del q by t reversible 2v1 so from there we we got to know that reversible cycle entropy will be greater than irreversible cycle entropy right that means del q by t irreversible is less than ds or we can say ds is greater than del q by t irreversible so uh, in the case of irreversible cycle entropy is greater than del q by t so for combined effect of reversible and irreversible we can write it like that that ds is greater than or equal to del q by t right and uh, we have already seen uh, in by the help of classes in quality that uh, cyclic integral of del q by t is less than equal to zero less than for irreversible cycle equal to for reversible cycle and here we can see for entropy ds is greater than del q by t for irreversible cycle and ds is equal to del q by t for reversible cycle so here uh, simple diagram i have shown and uh, i have shown that how uh, entropy of reversible and irreversible cycle we can find out easily right so s2 minus s1 and here also s2 minus s1 so as entropy is a property its value will remain same as long as the end points are same yes for any property the values will remain same because the end points are same so to find out the entropy change for an irreversible process it must be replaced with between same end points right now move to the uh, next topic that is our entropy change for a reversible process so we will see the entropy change for a reversible process and irreversible process and for adiabatic process right so here first is entropy change for a reversible process right so uh, we will we will take uh, case number 1 right so our case number 1 is when heat is added to the system right before uh, before making you this particular thing understand let me tell you once again the definition of uh, a reversible what is reversible and why we are uh, eager to find out the entropy change for a reversible process so reversible process a process is said to be a reversible process if if when reversed in direction means the dire when the direction of the process is reversed so a process is said to be a reversible process if when reversed in direction follows the same path as that of the forward path without leaving any effect on system and surroundings right so if there will be no any effect when we reverse the path uh, on the system and surrounding then that kind of process is known as reversible process and the process which is not reversible is known as irreversible process or non-reversible process so in case one when heat is added to the system that means we have supplied some heat to the system so when you will supply some heat to the system then uh, del q will be positive yes so we have written the equation for reversible cycle ds equal to del q by t reversible and uh, here our del q is positive because heat is added to the system so obviously if if this term will be positive then ds will be positive and when ds will be positive positive that means the difference will be greater than 0 yes it is very obvious so s2 minus s1 is greater than 0 and from here we can see that uh, initially our entropy is s1 and finally we are our entropy has increased so it has become s2 so s2 is greater than s1 that means when heat is added to the system in a reversible manner entropy of the system will increase now we are taking the case 2 when heat is rejected from the system right so uh, dear students ds is equal to del q by t reversible when we are seeing that our del q is negative that means when heat is rejected from the system then del q will be negative so del q is negative here so ds will also become negative because del q is negative and when uh, ds will become negative that means heat is rejected from the system that means key uh, initial entropy was more and the final entropy is less because heat has been rejected from the system so here in the last expression you can see s1 is greater than s2 
that means when heat is rejected in a reversible manner entropy of the system would decrease right the case 3 for reversible process and reversible adiabatic process so what will be the what will be entropy the value of entropy in earlier two cases we have seen when heat is supplied to the system the entropy will increase and when heat will rejected from the system the entropy will decrease but here in reversible adiabatic process we know adiabatic process that means heat transfer zero right and this process is reversible also so ds is equal to del q by t uh, this is our equation and when del q equal to zero then ds equal to zero by t then ds is equal to zero that means uh, difference in entropy is at two points that is s2 minus s1 will become zero and then s2 will become equal to s1 that means our entropy at point 1 is equal to entropy at point 2 that means entropy is constant that means entropy is same so here i have written iso iso means same and plus entropy that means entropy is same so a reversible adiabatic process is known as isentropic process so here it is written a reversible adiabatic process is always isentropic process that means students that any kind of a reversible adiabatic process you take that will be 100% isentropic process but i can, i am not saying that isentropic process will always be uh, you know uh, reversible adiabatic process no it can be differ but yes i am 100% sure about this particular expression that any kind of reversible adiabatic process you will take that will be our isentropic process and why i have said so that isentropic process may not be reversible adiabatic process we will see it later so here i have uh, make a simple chart that what is in for the case of reversible process that is heat supplied qs is as it supplied as suffix is for supplied so qs means heat supplied to the system then entropy will increase qr that means heat ejected from the system that means entropy will decrease and last when heat supply is zero that is q equal to zero that means adiabatic process then entropy is constant so entropy will be constant so these three important points related to reversible process now uh, note down the very important point system entropy can increase can decrease or can remain constant in a reversible process depending on heat transfer so how system entropy uh, can increase by adding the heat how system entropy can decrease by uh, rejecting the heat or by uh, reducing the heat and how it will become constant by by adiabatic process by no exchange of heat so that uh, process will become uh, constant right so system entropy can increase can decrease and can remain constant in a reversible process during depending on heat transfers now dear students we will discuss entropy change for irreversible process we have seen till now entropy change for reversible process now we will see the entropy change for irreversible process right so here we can see as we all know ds is greater than del q by t for irreversible process right and for reversible it will be equal this sign is equal but for irreversible process ds is greater than del q by t irreversible so it can be written as ds is equal to if we want to uh, change this greater than sign then how we will be able to change this so we can change it like this ds equal to del q by t irreversible plus entropy generation that means this greater value or the greater sign value the amount of uh, uh, amount by which that greater sign can be replaced is this thing this entropy generation that is delta s generation and this entropy generation basically comes for a reversible process only and this is a positive quantity so this is a positive quantity that's why this has replaced uh, the sign of uh, uh, greater value to the equal to value right 
so now this will be for irreversible cycle but when this cycle will become reversible then this entropy generation will become zero so we can see here ds equal to del q by t reversible plus zero so for reversible process entropy generation will be zero so there is students entropy generation del s generation exist only for irreversible process and its value is a positive quantity so we can also understand that uh, this ds equal to del q by t irreversible this happens due to external interaction that means when you interact with the when the system interact with the surrounding then that kind of irreversibility we can see and it will be come into the picture that here we can see ds equal to del q by t irreversible that is due to external interaction but from where this entropy generation come this entropy generation come from internal irreversibility internal irreversibility that means friction within the system so this comes because of the friction in a piston cylinder arrangement within the system so due to the friction we are getting this entropy generation that is internal irreversibility right so and we also know ds is equal to del q by t reversible this is also due to external interaction right when when our system interact with the boundary so entropy change uh, for irreversible process we can see ds is equal to del q by t reversible plus delta s generation now here it is written a reversible adiabatic process is always isentropic yes i have discussed earlier that a reversible adiabatic process will always be isentropic there is no doubt in it because adiabatic that means heat transfer zero and reversible so this will become zero so entropy change will become zero at point 1 and uh, so entropy will be at point 1 and at point 2 will be equal so that will become constant but now now the main thing we have to see whether this isentropic process will also be reversible adiabatic process that we have to understand so here we have taken a system and uh, this system is losing some heat del q so we have considered we have taken two processes here two things here or two points here that is one is irreversible process that process is irreversible and second is non adiabatic that means heat transfer zero so for irreversible process we can write ds is equal to del q by t irreversible plus entropy generation so for irreversible process if if this process is non adiabatic let let us assume that the value of del q by t reversible is minus 3 and we know the entropy generation is a positive value so let us assume that this will be 3 so what we are getting change in entropy we are getting zero that means we are getting a isentropic process means Uh, by the help of a irreversible and non adiabatic process we are also getting an isentropic process but this isentropic process cannot be called a reversible adiabatic process this isentropic process is called as irreversible and non adiabatic process that's why my dear students i have told you earlier that only a reversible adiabatic process is always isentropic and isentropic process need not to be always reversible adiabatic that means isentropic process can be a irreversible or non adiabatic process so here we have assumed two points that is process is irreversible and non adiabatic means heat transfer will take place so the a reversible adiabatic process is always isentropic process but isentropic process need not be always reversible adiabatic process this is a very important point i will say this is a golden point uh, of entropy that uh, we have to remember dear students always that reversible adiabatic process is always isentropic process but isentropic process need not be always reversible adiabatic process sometimes it, it may become reversible adiabatic process isentropic but not always now move to the next point here this is adiabatic process del q equal to 0 so we have seen uh, this particular adiabatic process in two cases that is reversible process and one is irreversible process so in re reversible process we know ds is equal to del q by t reversible and if the process is adiabatic then del q equal to 0 so ds will become 0 by t that will be equal to 0 so s2 minus s1 equal to 0 so s2 equal to s1 that is isentropic process means an adiabatic process is isentropic only if 
इट इज रिवर्सिबल दैट मीन्स एडियाबेटिक प्रोसेस इज ओनली आइसेंट्रॉपिक इफ इट इज रिवर्सिबल इफ द एडियाबेटिक प्रोसेस इज इर रिवर्सिबल इट मस्ट बी नॉन आइसेंट्रॉपिक राइट इफ द एडियाबेटिक प्रोसेस इज इर रिवर्सिबल दैट मीन्स इट विल बी नॉन आइसेंट्रॉपिक दिस इज अ गोल्डन पॉइंट विच वी हैव टू रिमेंबर नाउ वी विल सी इन इर रिवर्सिबल प्रोसेस ds is equal to del q by t irreversible plus delta s generation yes heat transfer is zero del q is zero so ds will become equal to entropy generation and we know that entropy generation is a positive quantity so entropy generation will be greater than zero so when entropy generation will be greater than zero that means our entropy will be greater than zero yes it is very obvious so that means there is increase in entropy hence this is non isentropic so uh, so here we can also understand when entropy is changing then in this process is not an isentropic process so though entropy though entropy is a property but entropy generation is not a property right so it depends on the extent of irreversibilities greater the irreversibility greater is the entropy generation right so this is very important point entropy generation is not a property entropy is a property but entropy generation is not a property right moving to the next topic entropy change of universe right so uh, what is universe first of all universe consist of system and surrounding so here this diagram we can see this is this whole uh, boundary is the boundary of our universe that means outside this boundary there is nothing right means we have taken the example of universe so in this universe we have taken a system and external to the system is our surrounding so universe we treat universe as isolated system right and we have already discussed uh, in starting lectures dear students that what is isolated system isolated system is a system from which there will be no heat transfer there will be no work transfer that means energy interaction in an isolated system will be zero right so here uh, we apply our equation that is ds is greater than equal to del q by t right so for universe that is isolated system this heat transfer will also become zero so this ds universe will be greater than or equal to zero means this right hand side uh, expression will become zero so ds universe will be greater than or equal to zero this means this ds universe consists system and surrounding this means ds of system plus ds of surrounding is greater than or equal to zero so this is the most important expression of this topic entropy why um, i'll make you understand why dear students we have earlier seen that uh, entropy of a system can increase can decrease can remain constant we have seen entropy of a uh, of surrounding can increase can decrease and can remain constant but entropy of a universe by this equation we can understand it can it can be equal to zero or it can increase but it can never decrease in case of system surroundings we have seen that uh, entropy may decrease right entropy may increase and entropy may remain constant but in the case of universe entropy will remain constant or entropy will only increase so by the help of this equation we can understand because if you will take if you want to understand it that universe is not going to interact with any anything that means whatever the molecular disorderness is there that will remain there always so if there will be no molecular disorderness right then the entropy will be zero change in entropy will be zero so entropy will be constant but if there is some molecular disorderness then entropy will increase that means entropy of universe can remain constant or can increase but if we are not having any thing outside the universe that means we are not able to interact with the universe so if we are not able to interact with the universe then 
द इंट्रॉपी कैन नेवर डिक्रीज राइट सो हेयर दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट आई हैव रिटन इंट्रॉपी ऑफ अ सिस्टम कैन इंक्रीज कैन डिक्रीज और कैन रिमेन कॉन्स्टेंट सिमिलरली इंट्रॉपी ऑफ सराउंडिंग कैन इंक्रीज कैन डिक्रीज और कैन रिमेन कॉन्स्टेंट बट द इंट्रॉपी चेंज ऑफ यूनिवर्स कैन नेवर डिक्रीज दिस इज नोन एज द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ इंक्रीज ऑफ इंट्रॉपी सो दिस इज ऑल्सो नोन एज प्रिंसिपल ऑफ इंक्रीज ऑफ इंट्रॉपी द यूनिट ऑफ इंट्रॉपी वी कैन इजिली फाइंड आउट द दैट डेल क्यू इज इन किलो जूल एंड दैट टी इन कैलविन राइट इफ वी विल टेक स्पेसिफिक स्पेसिफिक हीट और पर यूनिट स्पेसिफिक और पर यूनिट मास दैट हीट इफ विल टेक then किलो जूल पर किलोग्राम कैलविन अदरवाइज नॉर्मली द यूनिट ऑफ इंट्रॉपी विल बी किलो जूल पर कैलविन राइट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू टेक स्पेसिफिक इंट्रॉपी देन वी विल हैव द यूनिट ऑफ स्पेसिफिक इंट्रॉपी विल बी किलो जूल पर किलोग्राम कैलविन अदरवाइज द नॉर्मली दिस इज एन एक्सटेंसिव प्रोपर्टी दैट इज डिपेंडेंट ऑन मास बिकॉज हेयर हीट वी आर हैविंग हीट एंड इट इज डिपेंडेंट ऑन मास सो दिस इज द केस ऑफ एक्सटेंसिव प्रोपर्टी so that's all dear students for today's class thank you